Okay, so how are you finding the weekend? Well, to be honest, we're having a great time. Um, we've had a few punctures. The course is the course is fast, a bit rough in places, but it's a it's a good course. Obviously, everybody loves being in Radnor. It's the heart of rally country in Mid Wales, so it's a special place to be on any day. So this weekend is one of my favourite weekends of the year, um, and it's living up to expectations. Very fast. This year we've got a, a car with a Jag supercharged engine. Um, we've got about an extra 140 brake horsepower. The the car itself now is we're finding that. We're doing at least 10-15% faster speeds, um, so it, yeah, it's enjoyable, we're having a good time, just doing a little bit of preventive maintenance, but uh, besides that we've had a toll free weekend. Here's Carl Gudgeon and Richard Canterbury. Carl competed in a few of the Clubman events last year while he developed his car and has now made a successful return to the championship, fourth place here at Radnor in his GSR Evo X. Can you tell us a little bit about the car you're running this weekend? Uh, the car is a half on built, half professionally built GSI. Built by Guy Smith and then finished off by me. It's got a Nissan engine in the back and a six speed elite gearbox. And how are you finding the course this weekend? Have <laughs> uh, you had many punches? Gone. So is, um, are you finding it getting quicker now that it's starting to dry out? Uh, it is getting quicker, a bit, but my driving skills aren't that good. But okay. doing alright. This is Toby Jefferson who has former British Cross Country Championship driver Gordon Monaghan in the navigator's seat. The car, the James Law chemical supported GSR, well on its way to its best ever finish of third place. So could you tell us a little bit about the car you're running this weekend? It's a uh, Guy Smith uh, frame, bodywork and suspension and it was very well put together and built by Carl Hubel. And how are you finding the course this weekend? It's it's holding up very well with what we're putting against it. The weather's been reasonably kind to us this weekend. Uh, it's, it's a little bit too short for my liking. I'd like a, a longer course, but yeah, it's got a good mixture of off-road and fast stuff, so we're doing all right. Any major dramas to speak of? No, no major dramas. We were having punctures on every run yesterday, uh, which vastly depleted my stock of spares, but gladly I think the, uh, the course organisers have taken some uh, rocks out of the course that, we were, that were causing the problem, so we're not, we're not struggling too bad today. And as the course dries out, is it starting to get a bit quicker? Uh, the dry bits are on the fast track, so they're very grippy, but uh, the, the rough stuff's digging out and digging out, so a bit of a compromise. 
so they're sort of equaling each other out yeah yeah very much so we're holding our good times and uh, maintaining that okay well thanks for talking to us and have a good weekend cheers thank you and now martin cox and paul carson in car number two martin returned to start his season fully in his GSR 206 Evo and equalled his best ever result in the British Cross Country Championship with a very healthy second. Martin is definitely one to watch in this year's competition. Tell us a little bit about the car you're running this weekend. Um, yeah, it's um, built in 2005 by Guy Smith, um, and um, he built it basically for himself and let Richard Kershaw have it straight away. So Richard Kershaw had it for four, maybe five years, I think, and he won the championship four years in a row with it. Um, then I bought it off him. This is my second year of using it. This will be my first full year of from day one of using it championship. Um, it's one of Guy's um, space frames, 206 body shell running Nissan engine and SADAF, suspension, uh, SADAF gearbox and uh, French suspension. Um, pretty well sorted car. Right. Awesome, the car is pretty forgiving, it'll take most of, the, most of the things. I'm just getting too old to pedal it now. Right. It wants a younger driver. Really. It wants Richard back in the seat. <laughs> me sort of following up and waiting for the front runners to fall Not the weekend. Okay, well thanks for talking to us and good luck for the rest of the weekend. Okay, thanks very much. Dan Lofthouse makes an epic return to the British Cross Country Championship and had an almighty battle with Tim Dilworth this weekend. That ended on run five when Tim's engine gave up and he was forced to retire. Dan took full advantage of that in his Lofthouse Freelander Proto, finishing a full four minutes ahead of second place man Martin Cox. Okay, and good luck for the rest of the weekend. Thank you very much. So here are the results of the event at Radnor. Clubman class going to Andrew West and Pete Widdock. Radu Corton and Anna Maria Pierview in second place. In the Freelanders, it was Chris Ratter and Pat Masters who won. Andrew Woodhouse and Mark Wett in second. Matt Morgan and Tim Morgan alongside in third. The trophy class saw victory for Richard Kesey and Geoffrey Fletcher, Paul Harris and Stuart Bull next from Alan Thomas and Barry Marshall. Then it was Adam Bridgman and Matt Morgan with Mark Jakes and Simon Last in fifth place. And the overall results, Dan Lofthouse and Johnny Kunja taking the win from Martin Cox. Toby Jefferson third from Carl Gudgeon, then Mike Moran. Phil Ebertson in the 6R4 followed by Andy Powell. Paul Myers, Andy Skelly and Ian Bartlett.
Well, Radnor's proved to be as exciting and tough as it always is. The cars and drivers are bruised and battered, but make no mistake, the teams of engineers will have them up and running for the next round, which takes place at Forest Lodge in Scotland. Please join us then for round three of the 2013 Brit Parts MSA British Cross Country Championship. <laughs>